Hi, my name is Alexia, and today we will be working on engineering design, testing the strength of different shapes. You can follow along with me, joining me in predicting whether the shape will hold weight, or you can experiment with me at home. Before we start with the experiments, you'll just need some simple materials. You will need four to five sheets of paper, tape, and some books. Pause the video and grab these things if you can. We are going to create shapes of paper, and our goal for our shapes is to hold as much weight as possible. For me, my weight that I'm going to use are these books. So let's brainstorm some different shapes. I'm sure you guys can think of a lot of imaginative and really creative shapes, but for me, I'm just gonna start simple. So I will fold this paper into a cylinder and I will also add a piece of tape so it can keep its shape. Okay, here's my cylinder. We set it on the table right here. So what do you guys predict? How many books do you think, how much weight do you think that this cylinder can hold? And if you guys are working along with me, feel free to pause the video so you can have more time to create your shape. So let's start with our first book or our first weight. Okay, so it held one book. Let's see about two. Two books. Three books. Four books. This is doing a pretty good job. Five books. How did you guys do with your prediction? How close was it to the actual number of books that that cylinder held? I actually didn't think that it would hold five books. So I figured after that result that I would need some more weight. So how could we improve our last cylinder? What if I started by folding the paper in half like this? So my cylinder will be shorter, but will it also be stronger? What do you guys think? And again, if you guys need more time to create your shape, feel free to pause the video. This is my new and hopefully improved cylinder. So how many books do you guys think this will hold? Let's start. One book, two books, Three books, four books, five books, six books, wow, seven books, eight books, I'm glad. Oh. <laughs> that was an improvement in design. We were able to hold seven books. Our cylinder walls were thicker. Was that why it was stronger? How could we test if that change made a difference? Could you design an experiment? Instead of folding it once, you could fold it twice before rolling the cylinder. I'm sure you're also thinking of other creative designs. Test them out. I'm going to share some of my alternative designs with you.
As you are testing your own design, think about these questions. Which shape held the most books? How did the thickness of the walls affect the strength of your shape? Did it matter how you taped the paper together? Did it matter if the paper overlapped at the edge? What makes a building strong? The materials used in construction, for sure. But what else makes the building strong? Buildings must be able to remain standing despite large amounts of force put on them by the weight of the roof and other factors such as weather. Using different geometric shapes, structures are supported in different ways. An example of a building using shapes in construction is the Parthenon. The Parthenon began construction over 2,000 years ago in 447 BC and is still standing today. What shapes do you see? Here, the columns in the front, or pillars, are like cylinders. This is a picture of the Pantheon in Rome. It was built in the year 126, so again, almost 2,000 years old. What are some shapes you can see here? Like in the last picture, we can see that the pillars in the front are cylinders, but also, if you notice, the building itself is shaped like a cylinder. We can also see shapes in nature. What shapes do you see here in this picture of the redwoods in California? we can see that the trees support themselves with cylindrical trunks. Great job today. I hope you guys learned something new. Next time you go outside, look at what shapes you see, both in architecture and in nature.